Today the guys will be doing a blind review of Bridge and Maine. Bridge and Maine is an American weeded bourbon from the Cleveland Whiskey Company. It has a mash bill of 51% corn, 45% wheat, and 4% malted barley. After its initial maturation, it is then finished in toasted white oak casks. This bottle comes in at 90 proof. We paid the average retail price of $28 for our bottle. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. Let's go ahead and see what you poured us. I was right. He said earlier that he thought it was bourbon. First thing I smell, okay, this is gonna be a really, this is a very specific note because it's coming to me from my memory. My grandparents' place in Ohio, there was this entranceway, like a boot room essentially, right on the back door. Mm -hmm. So you went, walked into this like boot room and then and you could walk through another door to get into the into the kitchen. In that room, though, every once in a while, my grandfather would smoke a cigarette there. And so this reminds me of that room where it's like a mixture of like boots, leather, and it, but also like clean. It's like clean, but boot leather and some like to Burnt cigarette tobacco. smoke. Yeah. I can see that. I, I get, just, the, I I get the leather. See that. I get the leather and tobacco. And just a little bit of old man musk. English leather cologne. I'm going to go for a sip, though. Ooh, that Ooh. is sweet. It's for me. It was really spicy. Spicy on the tail. <laughs> yeah, I think that there was a sweetness up front, and then there was a pep, like a hot pepper, in the middle there. Ooh, that was good. Mm -hmm. I'm not impressed. I like this a whole lot. There's like a, I don't know what the fruit is like a maybe a apple pear. Yeah, I'm getting that on the palate, and then there's like a a nice like chili pepper. That is good. I'm, I love that combination if it's done right. I'm getting a little bit of like lightly musty sawdust. Some good baking spices. For me, that's like overwhelmingly what I'm getting is the baking spices. I don't know. I'm just not person. I'm just not feeling it right. This one right now. I like that it has that like sweet, juicy note up front and the finish is more on the spicy side. I just got coffee and cream. One, two, three. Me, personally, I'm thinking this would make a great brunch cocktail. Yeah. I think this would be a good cocktail whiskey, for sure. I think it's got yeah. the spiciness to stand out in a cocktail. But not like an after-dinner or pre-dinner cocktail. Brunch. This, breakfast this, cocktail. Yeah, this is like a morning, early afternoon cocktail. Yes. A whiskey sour. See, I can do whiskey sour late in the day. What whiskey cocktail do you drink with brunch? I've never really experience that so i don't know <laughs> yeah see a whiskey screwdriver yeah my morning and early afternoon cocktails tend to be rum based yeah maybe a maple old-fashioned like a maple syrup old-fashioned i can even just see in mixing some coffee liqueur and just spike your coffee with it with the water i think it brings out more wood notes yes it's sweet wood notes though sweet wood notes yes i think but, uh, it dulls the spiciness but the spiciness is still there see i typically drink my coffee black. This I would specifically use with coffee and cream, cafe yeah. au lait or Ooh. latte or Actually something. just this would make a good bourbon cream. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Or mix this in a mocha. I think I like it better with a little bit of water. Which is where I was getting the cocktails. It's different side. with the water. I don't know that I like it better with the water. I like it differently with the water. With the water, it puts my mindset into a different price range that I'm more willing to pay for it with water. Whereas Yes. The taste that the way it tasted the first time made me think a higher cost, but I wasn't enjoying it at that for that cost. Which is I wouldn't know weird to say, but No, I see what you mean. Like the the notes I got without water made me think this is something a little bit more a little bit more high end for our price range. Whereas without with the water now, it's like, okay, this this is a more down to earth, doesn't feel as pretentious. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's simpler. Yeah. We're moving to ratings. We're going to talk about the nose palette and finish on a scale of 0 to 5. On the nose, I'm giving this a 3.5. I like the notes I got. There could have been something more there to bump it up. On the palette, I'm giving this one a 4.5. I very much enjoyed this palette. That sweet note followed by that spicy peppery note, I very much enjoyed. With the water, brought out more woody notes, which were still very... Very good to me. Honestly, this is a very good cocktail whiskey. And on the finish, I'm giving it a four. I really liked how it finished. I liked the notes I got. 
the nose, I, I want to give this a three. I was looking for a little bit more. What I did get, I fully enjoyed. On the palette, I'm giving this a four. I love the nose that I got, but I was looking for a bit more mouthfeel, I think, out of out of it. It was a, just a tad bit watery for me. Finish, I'm also giving a four. I thought the finish was very good on this, well-timed. And honestly, I can't wait to throw this in a mocha and see what I get. I'm going to give the nose a three. I thought the nose was fine. It was interesting. I did enjoy this more with water. So I'm going to go with 3.5 on the palette and then a 3.5 on the finish. With that, we're going to move on to our guesses. We're going to guess what kind of whiskey we think this is, what we think the proof is, what we think retail is, and then how much we'd be willing to pay for a bottle. I'm going to go with, I think this is an 86 proof bourbon. I think it retails around the $20 mark. I'd be willing to pay Twenty-one, twenty-two. I agree with you on the bourbon. I think this is a 90 proof. The only thing is the price point I definitely don't agree with you on. I think this is going to go for about 18 and I would pay 15 I also think this is a 90 proof bourbon. I think this retails for 20 I'd be willing to pay 17 Let's go ahead and see what we drank today. Today we drank... Bridge and Maine American Wheat Bourbon. Interesting. Hmm. Cleveland, Ohio. So this is bourbon whiskey, weed, uh, weeded bourbon, to be clear. So in addition to it being weeded bourbon, it is also then finished in toasted white oak barrels. So it goes from whatever barrels it was aging in into new toasted white oak. There's no age statement, but it also doesn't say straight bourbon whiskey finished in oak. It just says bourbon whiskey. So there's a lot of questions here. I likely paid... The retail price in Pennsylvania, in Ohio for this, and this retails for $28. I just think that's a little too much to be something that I add to my morning coffee. <laughs> yeah. $28 is, is a, just a bit too much. That's what we think. Let us know down in the comments of what you think of this bourbon. And until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the guy who says, this drink's on me. me.